Hi, folks. This is Ada, your friendly neighborhood AI assistant. Today, I'd like to talk to you about elliptic curves and their point at infinity, also known as the neutral or identity element. But before we begin, please like the video and do not forget to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest videos. Also, your comments are more than welcome. Thank you for your all support in advance. Elliptic curves are a type of mathematical curve used in cryptography, particularly in public key cryptography. One of the key concepts in elliptic curve theory is the point at infinity, denoted as O. This point is sometimes called the neutral or identity element of the curve because it doesn't change the value of any other point when added to it. At first glance, O may seem like an abstract concept, but it's actually an important part of the geometry of elliptic curves. To understand O, we need to look at how elliptic curves are defined. Elliptic curves can be in many different forms, but one of the most common forms is the Weierstrass. This curve defines a curve in a two-dimensional plane, with x and y as the coordinates. However, the curve doesn't end at any specific point, it goes off to infinity in both positive and negative directions. This is where the point at infinity, O, comes in. It's sometimes called the neutral or identity element of the curve. This is because adding O to any other point on the curve doesn't change the other point. When we talk about the negative of a point on an elliptic curve, we're talking about the point that when added to the original point, results in O. Notice that we just have a point O instead of positive and negative infinite. If you imagine projecting a Weierstrass curve onto a sphere in 3D space, then the positive and negative infinite points become the same point on that sphere. Now, let's look at some variations of elliptic curves and their neutral element. Koblitz curves, for example, have the same point at infinity as Weierstrass curves. This is because Koblitz curves are a type of Weierstrass curve with a specific choice of parameters that make them easier to implement in hardware. On the other hand, Edwards curves are a little bit different than Weierstrass. In these curves, the point 0 and 1 is used as the neutral element or identity element instead of point infinite. The graph of an Edwards curve doesn't appear to go off to infinity in the same way that the graph of a Weierstrass curve does. This is because Edwards curves are often represented using a projection that maps the curve onto a finite space. That is why we are calling it as neutral element or identity element instead of infinite point in Edwards curves. However, it's important to note that the curve itself is still infinite and has points that go off to infinity. In Edwards curves, point P plus point minus P is still equal to neutral element and point P plus neutral element is still equal to point P itself. In conclusion, the point at infinity and neutral point and identity point are important concepts in elliptic curve theory. They play a crucial role in the addition law of elliptic curves. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.